Hi, my name is Dominique. I'm the head of communications here at Digma. And today I'm going to show you how my workday looks and how I use the rays to make my workflow more efficient. This is basically how I start my day with a cup of coffee and checking my messages and emails. Answering emails, writing long development updates, posting on our blog and on our social media channels. This is my typical work day at Digma. I normally answer between 15 to 60 messages and I need to be efficient with my typing, which means that I need to have the right configurations on my rays to help boost my productivity. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how I use my rays. When typing, there are certain keys that I need on both sides of my rays. The reason for having them this way is because in case my right hand is busy maneuvering my mouse or writing on my notepad, I have my left hand to press these other keys. The enter key and backspace key on the left side of the raise is particularly useful. So this is my shift key and this is my space key. And shift is my most used modifier. So I wanted to put it in a location where I know I can access it easily and anytime. The reason I have the space key here is because just in case I need to use my hand to do something else and I need it to be on the mouse, I can click the space with my left hand. For my under row keys, my backspace is here and my delete is here. Okay, I'm not perfect, I make mistakes. So I wanna be sure that I'm able to erase my mistakes as quickly as possible. That's why I put my backspace and delete here. So what does this key do? Since I hardly use this key and I don't wanna keep stretching my pinky, I've actually configured this key to be the LED next toggle key. On this side, I have my Alt and my Command key. One other neat thing I can do with this configuration is that I can do Command Backspace, which I normally wouldn't be able to do on a normal keyboard. So now you're probably wondering what these keys are. Well, this one is my control key, and these two keys are my shift to layer and move to layer keys. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about layers. So let's head over to Basecore to see what we're dealing with. So on my keyboard, I can only shift to layer one, which means that the keys in layer one will only be activated as long as I hold this shift to layer one key. Once I let go, I'm back to layer zero. So the functions in my layer one are mostly for navigating through Chrome or changing desktops. Yes, I work with different desktops. I'm that kind of person. These keys are for changing tabs in Chrome. This goes uh, to the left and this goes to the right. These keys are for changing scenes or basically changing my desktops. Yeah, so I use different desktops. It's just because I don't want to have a lot of different programs in one desktop. I want to have them in other desktops. I guess I'm also a sucker for different LED colors. <laughs> Not only do they give me visual feedback, but it kind of gives color to my work. Cute, no? And these keys are the left and right horizontal mouse wheel. So for example, if I'm using, uh, let's say Trello or spreadsheets where I need to navigate left and right, I don't need to, you know, get my mouse and drag it left to right. I can just do it this way. Now let's check out my move to layer. If I press this key, I go to my layer two. Now, if I press this key again, I go back to my layer zero. Now, I don't really use my layer two as much. All I have here are some arrow keys and my number pad in case I need to use it. It's just there. So having these different configurations and shortcuts on my keyboard has really helped me become more efficient and more fluid with my, more, with my workflow. I no longer have to keep, for example, moving my right hand to my mouse and then back to my keyboard and then back to my mouse and back to my keyboard because I have my essential keys on my left hand side as well like my enter and my backspace for example. I can also type quicker because all of my most used keys or modifiers are here in my thumb keys. 
Having other layers for my other functions has also helped my flow of work. It has given me a new style of working that I know is unique to only me.